All right, hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, it's time for more The Last of Us Part 1. Last time we were playing, uh, we followed Tess out of the Boston quarantine zone through some smugglers' tunnels, and now we are pursuing Robert and his men. Uh, kind of a, an unsavory person who has crossed Tess and Joel. Uh, what we know so far is that Joel and Tess have something against him, and uh, preemptively, Robert attacked Tess, uh, or sent people to attack Tess. So enough is enough, and I guess we're going to figure out uh, what to do with him after all this time. So let's move. Not right now, Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good. Look Not out. now, you hear me? Okay. No. It's interesting to see the, uh, the sort of pocket communities that form, that get set up really quickly at the start of the game. And this is all outside the wall, isn't it? Being this close to the quarantine zone, it's gotta be dangerous. Your shirt on. Makes your back's coming right up. Hey, don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. Waiting on this rat forever. Ooh, eating city rat. Ugh. Yuck. Pretty nasty. I guess you just gotta make do with what you have, though, right? If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. I'm not interested in bargaining for bullets. It's cool to take a stand that way, but she wants ration cards. She's not even in the QZ, is she? Or is this just another area of the QZ? Like the slums or something? 15 tickets each. Sorry, man. These dogs are all accounted for. Sold out in less than an hour. Try me next week. I don't even know what to take from that. Touch it, you buy it. Tess, it's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. Really trying to fleece us. Almost no fanfare. Where do you think you're going? Malik, sit back down. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Another poker game. Man, imagine Where's how that? revolutionary no, a PSP would be here. Light sheen on things to let us know we can pick them up. All right. Notice the civilian service system, the general of the Boston quarantine zone to fuck this. That's graffiti. Greeting. As an able-bodied citizen, you are hereby issued work orders to participate in various duties relating to the care of the quarantine zone. Please report promptly to main office Charles Bridge on December 15th and 6.30 a.m. for forwarding to an armed forces management station. Willful failure to appear at the place and hour of the day named in this order subjects the violator to ration restriction and possible loss of zone residency. Bring your order with you when you report. Important notice, read carefully. If you have participated in work duties in the past six months, bring evidence with you and service will be postponed. If you have any physical or mental condition which in your opinion may disqualify you for service, bring a physician's certificate describing that condition. I do not assume that accessibility and mental health ser uh, services would be effective in a Fedra fascist society. Alrighty. 
Marlene, uh, mid forties, five seven. Hair color black, eyes brown, race mixed, nationality American, occupations laborer, community organizer, scars and marks, scar on chest, just below collarbone. Suspect is wanted on multiple charges including terrorism, murder, conspiracy to murder, forgery, bribery, robbery, and others stemming from organizing and leading the terrorist group known as the Fireflies. Suspect should be considered armed and dangerous at all times. She is well protected and well regarded by many. Expect resistance to her arrest or execution from members of the public. If you see this person, report to the nearest Fedra HQ. Information leading to her capture will be rewarded. I've got some others here. I guess I can't pull up my gun, so I can't zoom in. Kid playing with a giraffe. Giraffes are a really interesting symbol in this game. They show up quite a bit. Uh, that's also something that they've been paying uh, pretty good respect to in the TV show so far. We should get a move on. You'll see a lot of giraffes uh, associated with children, innocents, and things like that. It even follows through to the second game. Big motif. All right, Tess, let's go. I'm looking for Robert. You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the war. He's there now. All righty. Let's move forward. Just a little tent. Bunch of chest high walls. Here we go. That's how you know you're in a combat encounter. <laughs> Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. We don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Take cover! Oh, man. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill you! I'll cover you. Get the angle on them. Oh, man. <laughs> I forgot I needed to... Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I got stuck. Uh, I guess you just duck next to cover, and that's how it works. Illness. Yeah. There we go. Oof. Oh, dang. Yeah, two shots will get me dead. So here we are at the start of a grounded run. This is going to be fun. It makes the encounters very puzzle game-like. It's very exciting. close there. We just got to have Tess cover us a little bit better. All right. Third time's a charm. Any bricks around? Anything that I can grab over here? Not going to be able to scare them. Gonna need to take a uh, better cover. Play a little bit more defensively, lure them away from each other.
Come on, buddy. Ooh. All right. Maybe I'll go around the other side. Are there any bricks around? Anything I can use? Any improvised weaponry? Oof. Oof. There we go. Nice work, Tess. Nicely done, Texas. <laughs> you too. How the hell did he get all these guys? If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. Let's go put an end to that. Oh, I could have just picked up the bullet off the first corpse. Dang. Uh, all right. Let's just check around here, see if there's anything I can grab. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, we survived. A little bit less heroic than maybe would have been photogenic, but believe in the fireflies. Remember who we were. It's not going through here. All right, well. Give me your hand. But yeah, you can definitely use the AI to your advantage. Can I unlock this for the future? Nah. Again, restricted area warning, restricted area, photography pro prohibited. Kind of a pretty photogenic part of town though. Are those seagulls up there? Maybe pigeons. Over here, Joel. More chest high walls. We know what that means. I have one bullet. More Robert's guys. Shit, I see him. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Her Jeez. little smirk. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Quiet, Texas. Let's spread out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Move up. Yes, please. And thank you. Are there any bricks around here? Any drawers I can scavenge? No. All right. I would love to go over there and check for stuff because it, it seems to me like there would be things. Near where the game doesn't necessarily I was down on Jordan Street. want you to be. Soldiers showed up with a group of about five civs, all in handcuffs. Let me guess. Fireflies? Yep. They lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. Just executed all of them. Holy shit. Yeah, they were sent all over the city. They tracked them down on them hard. Yeah. I got a cousin with them. Seriously? Idiot thinks he's gonna save the world. Hope he's all right. All righty. Over here. Oh no! <laughs> just got taken down immediately. I could probably just uh, shoot him right through the window without him noticing me. There we go. Took care of him. 
He doesn't have a weapon, though. Dang. All right, so no extra resources me for me for doing that. Nothing I can really pick up over here, either. No one's in here yet. Dang. I meant to tell you, I was down on Jordan Street, and all these soldiers showed up with a group of about five civs, all in handcuffs. Let me guess. Fireflies. Yep. I lined them up against the wall, and bang, 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 they just executed all of them. <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, I hate to let that old get to you. They tracked him down on them hard. Hmm. Got a cousin with him. Seriously? Do you think he's gonna save the world? Hope he's all right. You take one out, I'll take the other. How am I gonna do that, Tess? Oh, I see. We were both shoot him at the same time. work that's how you do it let's search the area and goodies Ooh, a car key wonderful warehouse key not a car key all right anything fun for me in here anything i can work with any lockers to open no nope. oh yes and you have to craft uh items oh let's see okay stages of infection runner do not let them swarm you stalker uses environment to hide and ambush victims will frequently flank and attack from behind infected stage three clicker can't see completely blind acute hearing uses echolocation to seek out prey keep your distance stage three infected are known for their ferocious attacks and are extremely lethal Finally, runners, cordyceps taking over the victim's motor functions, fast and fragile. It actually says fragile. There's a typo. Stage one infected usually travel in packs. Do not let them swarm you. Boston QZ map. Yeah, so we must be over here. So we did. Uh, we didn't. I see. We didn't leave the quarantine zone. We took a tunnel uh, that allowed us to transfer somewhere else, right? Or I guess we're out on the outer wall then? And we'll go in through another tunnel that will link us over there probably, right? I'm not sure, because it did seem like we were on the other side of the wall before. And this does not seem to be a FEDRA certified <laughs> operation. So yeah, my guess is we went out that, that first little tunnel section there. Where are we going? Probably just out. Nice. Health snacks. Hey, consolidated the crate from the South Warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to Christmas. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? Guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. Definitely want to wait for them to spread out. He had a gun. Why doesn't he have ammo? I guess the in-world explanation, right, is that they're really limited on resources, so people carry guns even if they don't have bullets because it's an intimidation tactic. Pretty smart. Pretty clever. Uh, do 
want to walk up the stairs first or go down there. I think up the stairs makes the most sense. Be really quiet. Got it right there. Just grab him and take him out. I think the big secret about The Last of Us that people don't quite realize is that they really are stealth games. No, they are shooters in some regard, but very much stealth oriented, right? Getting stealth kills and thinning out the herd without getting caught is truly the, the biggest factor of their gameplay. In fact, uh, a lot of the skills that I gained playing games like Metal Gear and I got a knife, perfect. Uh, specifically like Phantom Pain and stuff uh, are just indispensable. Oh God. Oh, I did not know that guy was there. Nice, really got me. <laughs> Consolidated the crate Clever the trick. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another one. All right, so we can take out at least two of them now, uh, without Robert? alerting we'll anyone. Then we got to be a little bit careful near that shiv. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Maybe we can uh, throw a bottle down onto the first floor and have people look a different way while I go snag that shiv. Anything in that gun? Nope. Once again, no ammo. <laughs> Quiet down a little bit, Joel. All right, time to move forward. Very, very quietly. Get up. Oh no. Cover me. Moving up. Oof. Very good. All right, we got through both of them. Anyone taking pot shots? There's someone still on the ground. Can't see. It's so blurred from the damage I took. <laughs> Come out, you son of a bitch. Yeah, there is someone. Oh, they're up there. He's over there. If we intercept him. I got you. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize I could die uh, from that. I didn't realize there was like a cadence to attacking. Hey, All right. Consolidated the crate from the south warehouse. Last time's the charm, right? Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to Christmas. 
What about Robert? Who's he holing up with tonight? Guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. I'm really enjoying this. This sort of methodical gameplay. And it, it only gets more dynamic and more interesting when there are, like, you know, infected to, to worry about. <laughs> This got to be a little bit faster. And draw. Whoa. I guess I couldn't stealth kill him. Weird. Hey, we consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to curfew. What about Robert? Who's he hauling up with tonight? Guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. We might be able to to get him when he comes back, when he walks back towards the uh, the room, because he'll be separated, isolated. We can also maybe break a glass jar out here to lure the uh, guy on the first floor out after we kill this guy. Let's try that. Bottles aren't really that special anyway, so. <laughs> Take down. Let's quickly grab this shiv because it won't actually pull open. Okay, from this direction, it does. But he didn't see me this time because I was quick. Now we go downstairs. Is he gonna walk? Nope. He's right there. So if we walk through there, we're doomed. So yeah, we gotta take care of the guys upstairs one at a time. Yikes, it sucks that I wasted two bottles for that, but it's good to know for the next time, right? for the inevitable next time. <laughs> I think we should be good though. I think I understand what to do now. Easy. He can't really see us. Aha, we have lured him out possibly. Nothing here. He's facing the wrong direction now, though, which is very good for us. Cool. 
was that? Whoa! Hey, get him! Behind the door. Alright, we got three guys right here. Around him. Oh, I thought he was around the corner. <laughs> hey, you consolidated. Oh, no, oops. Get him in the building. <laughs> Consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to curfew. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? This guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. All right. So our strategy, once again, is going to be to try to split them off, but I'll just be a little bit quicker about it. <laughs> <gasps> Pistol ammo from him this time. Lucky. Oh, and he's right there, too. So as long as we get this guy. Look, man. We can work something out, okay? We can't. <laughs> There we go. Now we got rid of him, so we're good on that front. We'll go upstairs, we'll get rid of the other guy, and then it's just me and Tess, and it's a 2v2, and we're we're even. So things should be a little bit better. Plus, we can get the drop on them uh, a little bit more easily. <laughs> Oh. All right. Can we lure them down is my question. Where are they? Can't listen for them. Gonna poke around. It's definitely him. I don't see anything. Good. Let's keep moving. Where's his partner? Where's his partner? Where's his partner? It's right there. Back up, back up, back up. Okay. I think we're golden. Oh, please make the wrong decision. Please make the wrong decision. Yeah, he'll come here. It's fine. Oh, shit! Don't kill me, man, please! Let me die. You can say I didn't kill him. We should have brought more people. Yeah, they just slow us down. Yeah, you're right. 
All righty. We did it. <laughs> Let's do this. Just need scissors and tape. Nice. All right, so hey, we did it. We got through that encounter. It took us four tries, five tries. Not too bad. Things will definitely get considerably harder <laughs> as we continue on. Ooh, a healing kit. That's great. And another bottle. Awesome. We're like stacked right now with equipment. I guess we could have. Oh, I guess we can't sneak out. Not with the chains. Let's uh, do a quick r run around here. See if there's anything we can take from anyone. We also managed to preserve our pistol ammo. So that's pretty solid for us. Anything over here? Nope. Nice. Nice. We did a great job. <laughs> no one noticed. There's our boy. What a toad. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. Be smart about this. There's a lot of them. Uh, all the time. Yeah, well, she was the contact in the north, the contact in the south. I don't know if she's left out there to sell us stuff. That's why we're taking shitty protection gear. Fuck you, Robert. That rap better be good with your hands. Even if he is, then what? I'm telling you, he's going to be <laughs> Tess is just really turned on by violence. Uh, having to watch their faces, it's brutal. Oh yes, melee weapons and then bricks. Very important. All right, so we got a bunch of melee weapons. Now we have to just pay attention to where everyone goes. The first part of a good stealth encounter is observation. All right, we wanna see the directions people are moving. We wanna see their overall path around the space, right? Because once we can predict where they're gonna go, uh, Holy shit! The better we can uh, oh, deal with them. What is he saying? God damn it, too. Did he see me? I don't think so. All right. Oh shoot. Man down! Man down! Oh no. Spread out. Okay, good though. Actually, yes, spread out. One of them walking that way. Okay, he's coming around. We gotta be careful. Come on, Tess. And he, I think he'll walk right by her. He won't even notice her. Yeah. He won't notice. Oh. Half test shoot him. Yes. Oh, damn it. I thought he was reloading. Yikes. All right, so I do have to be a little bit careful when I take out that first guy. Let's be smart about this. There's a lot of them. because eventually they will walk this way. Oh, there's an item right there. I'll need to remember to pick that up. Let's just be cool, man. Take it easy. 
I just want him to be slightly obscured. Can I move bodies in this game? No, I cannot. All right, so where I take people out is definitely pretty important. Be smart about right. this. There's a lot of them. Gotta be real careful. I don't think this is the one they noticed. I think it was the other one, so. I'm just looking here. Be fine. And then we'll do what we can to get this body behind some stuff. <sighs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Watch my back. I got him. All righty, I guess we're just doing this the good old firefight way. Lots of notes around here. Tess, watch my back. You got it. Gotta run, gotta run. Gotta run. Just wanna grab this note as quickly as possible. So docks note and shipping manifest. Over there. Go on. Turn I don't have the ability to read that right now. Oh no, uh, where is my bottle? It'll be really unhelpful to not have that. Okay. You see him? He's not over here. I do not like the fact that they are flanking us. Let's keep people and stuff between us and them. Move efficiently. see him right over there so I'm gonna try to follow and flank Where the hell did you go? <clears throat> see if that'll make him look that way nope. right, he'll walk over here and we, we will just take him out we'll punch him 
right as he rounds the corner. There we go. Keep it up. Things were taken care of. All right. And I got healed, which is good. Shipping Nanafest. Damn, soldiers spotted one of our ships. Thought we were done for, but the Robert guy knew one of them. He managed to bribe them in return for letting us go. I guess he's good for something. Son of a bitch can talk. It did cost us a third of the cargo, and I can't shake the feeling that we've been had. How the hell did they find us in that fog? Anyway, here's what we managed to bring in. Two crates of clothes, some new pairs of jeans, one crate of toilet paper, two crates of frozen meat, more Canadian bison, one crate of liquor. What the hell are we doing with this guy? I don't like how he orders us around. I don't like his stupid ponytail. And I sure as shit don't like that he hasn't paid us yet. Not to mention that the people after him are some of the most dangerous in the city. What do you think he's gonna ha- uh, What do you think is gonna happen when they get wind of our involvement? Is he talking about Joel and Tess? Because if so, I mean, I guess we are pretty dangerous, huh? We just dismantled uh, a whole, like, defense group. <laughs> The, the people defending the docks. We just took them right out. Nice. Another shiv. Uh, I'm loading up on those and trying to save as many as I can save. I don't know how many I can hold at one point, but uh, because they're really useful against uh, infected. Granted, I don't know how much has changed uh, in remake and, and what other resources are available to me at any given point in time but all right can't use the toilet oh that's tess i was a little bit nervous <laughs> is that another note i can pick up nope that's a lid all right i want to i wanted to look over here and make sure there wasn't anything else uh, there should be another bat, actually, now that I think about it. Because there was one that this guy had and one that this guy had. Yes. All right. Smart. Having melee weapons that are uh, actually strong is, is pretty, pretty much a godsend in this game. Can I take that claw hammer? No. Nope. Robert must have run in there. Let's go. Comfort mats. Let's not wait around. All right. Let's check. Oh, shit! Get back! Get the fuck back! We just want to talk, Robert. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Now go fuck yourself. He's running. Robert. Joel, this way. Come on, he ran in here. <laughs> we almost got him. Come on, come on. Come on. Well, hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess, Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. Ooh. Ooh. We missed you. Uh, look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but it, it's complicated. Right. Hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got... <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, God. What you're squirming. You were saying? I sold them. Excuse me. I didn't wrong. have much of a choice. I owed someone. You wrong owed us. answer. I say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? 
I can't. You just give me a couple. Of <laughs> Oh, oh. Ouch. It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. What? Uh, hey. They're basically all dead. We, we can just, just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Let's go get them. That is a stupid idea. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You're not looking so hot. Where's Robert? <laughs> I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back, then some. How do I know you got them? Well, I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. You're right about that. I'll show you the weapons. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. We gotta get out of here. Now. You want this deal? We gotta move. I know a way around this. Come on. She's fast for someone who's been shot through the stomach. Dang. performance is really excellent she plays marlene in the tv show as well and it's just it's she has such a good understanding of the character all right they aren't following us yet holy shit is that your people what's left of them why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. So did she want Robert originally to smuggle? To why now? We've been quiet. Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. Uh huh. <sighs> Scrap. Perfect. Have we encountered any like workbenches or anything yet? Can I upgrade <sighs> anything here? No. Joel, give me a hand with this. Marlene and Joel know each other. Good to know. I think we already knew that. I think it was established, but. Hey, how you holding up? I'll live. Idle animation is pretty impressive. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door under the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. We need to get to that door. Oh, 
I don't actually think getting to the door will be that hard. Marlene is quick on her feet. Dang. You picked the wrong day to screw with us. I would be significantly less capable than she is <laughs> had I been shot. All right. Is there a bottle anywhere? That looks like a no. The question is, is the person standing right there? No, they are not. I don't want to alert all of them, so I just have to get rid of this brick. Good. Stay quiet. What the? I heard something. Yeah, I heard it too. I see it. Oh, no. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Darn. I didn't think jumping over that would alert him, so that's my bad. We need to get to that door. Yep. Let's go do it. And let's try to sneak by, right? Like, there's got to be a way to do this encounter without uh, just having to murder everyone. Granted. I'm not opposed to, you know, stealth takedowns and stuff. However, distraction appears to be the name of the game. The wrong day to screw with us. Go fuck yourselves. Good riddance. Damn. Damn. Okay, okay, this one. Wait for no one, private. <laughs> Too. I see you. Anything? Nothing there. Hey, you see anything? Fucking nothing. Hey! Get him! Something up! Darn it. Whatever. We'll have to take him out. He's in here! Watch your ass. Cover me. I'm moving up. On it! Alright, we can deal with this. Oh yeah, Tess. Tess and Marlene. I'm moving up. I got you covered. You gonna come around there? He's over here. There you go. What? Ah, uh, the reticle showed up on him, so I thought I could, I thought I could smash him. All right, I think this next time we've got it, and I should be able to do it without we uh, wasting that door. brick. So we have two bricks. If we can alert them and, and get them in a more savory position for us. Oh. 
You got me, okay? Yep, sure do. Alright. Got this guy taken care of. Perfect. Question is, did this person drop any ammo? Because if so, that would be awesome. Good riddance. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Alrighty. So we just gotta move Watch forward very carefully. They're out in numbers today. One, two. Is there any over there? Nope. There's one right there. Will the one right there see us? Or if I... Let's see, there's one there. There's one there. They're not looking. Get him! Oh. Ouch. Did we get them? Not all of them. There's one. Oh no, ah, I was so close. <laughs> all right. Oh, perfect. We checkpointed. That's awesome. Okay. Watch yourselves. If we are extra, extra quiet, we might be able to do this now. Good. <laughs> Looks like you are doing something. Good riddance. Uh, okay. Oh, they shot one of them. Gotcha. Now we just wait for this guy to cross all the way over. I think we can take out that guard right there. Unless there's someone else waiting for us, which I don't think there is. There we go. See? It worked out easily this time. Oh, God. He's right there. Definitely a little bit challenging, but we managed it. Oh, we still got a brick, too. Excellent. And three bullets. Oh, these are Marlene's guys. God damn it. They got Warren. <sighs> Goodbye, friend. We should go, Marlene. There's bound to be more soldiers on the way. You're right. Let's move. Hmm. That's rough. You know, the Fireflies are not great people, right? They, they genuinely are terrorists uh, in the sense that in their conquest for uh, freedom, they kind of put a lot of people in uh, much further now. the crossfire for collateral. And granted, you know, rebels that have a pretty valid cause, right, to fight a against fascism, uh, they do have a bad habit of, uh, you know, blowing up buildings and stuff that 
uh, otherwise regular citizens, you know, innocent civilians live in, which is an interesting characterization. Because I feel like, you know. Where are we going, Merlene? This way. It's not far now. All right. Uh, it feels like, you know, most games would kind of ease up on that and say like, oh no, they're actually good. They're actually freedom fighters, you know, clean conscience, it just looks bad. But no, they actually are pretty violent. Um, but hey, you have to do what you have to do to fight against fascism, don't you? All right, anyway, I think this is the end of uh, this episode. Uh, I will see you again next time. Uh, I think we'll continue following Marlene through the docks and get more details on this mysterious thing she wants us to smuggle. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.